F55 is asking which of these attacks can content security policy stop. Technically, we don't even need to do the actual lab to figure this out. We know that content security policy doesn't impact HTML injection, although it does stop a lot of the components that make the phishing scheme a lot more realistic, like it blocks the injection of images, styles, fonts, and other things that would make HTML injection practical. But the HTML injection itself isn't stopped. Content security policy can be effective against cross-site scripting, and it's not going to be effective against command injection because this is a server-side attack. Content security policy has no impact on server-side attacks whatsoever, so the answer is going to be cross-site scripting. But we should go ahead and do the exercise. So let's go ahead and do some HTML injection on the content security policy page. We'll see that this does not get blocked. And so we hit submit, and we can see that the word hello is all big and bold from the H1 tags. Now let's try a cross-site script. So we'll just do a little alert box. Now, assuming everything is spelled correctly here, we should be able to see that this gets blocked. Nothing happened. If we go to the tools bar and we show the tools, so we'll need to go to more tools and then developer tools, and we'll pull up the error messages under the console, and we'll see this red error message tells us that the content security policy blocked the injection because of the policy directive script source self. So everything is working as expected. We choose cross-site scripting as our answer, and we find out that that is the correct answer.